All right, we're done with Finn Balor and we're on to Sasha Banks. But if I don't get this card, I will quit Supercard. Just kidding, that's ringed Dom. Of course I got the Sasha Banks card. Who do you guys think I am? I got Sasha. I got the Heroic Upgrade, which is a few minutes left to go. And then as far as ring domination goes, I got the Rock Pro. I got the Daniel Bryan card. I got the Scott Dawson Pro. And also the Heroic Upgrade for my first ever full Heroic Event card. I haven't proed him yet. Or have I? No, I haven't proed him yet. But more importantly, today the WrestleMania 36 tier is out. It's actually out in just a few moments at the time I'm recording this. By the time you get this video, it'll be out. You'll see my freebie, my whatever ladder reward or whatever I decide to open up for this video. Because, you know, everybody goes ahead and saves up a bunch of stuff to open up whenever the new tier comes out. But before then, I got some WrestleMania features to show you guys. On top of that, also my latest poll. And there's some stuff to talk about when it comes to the new WrestleMania. So many 36 tier cards and the brand new secret slot and what it's all about so Let's go ahead and get started with my 4, 5, 6, I don't know the number, WrestleMania Fusion. Let's go. WrestleMania Fusion time. So, in the quest, we got Hogan. So, obviously, I'm looking for Hogan here. Let's get, get, let's get that. Oh, no. Another Primal, man. We got Primal Velveteen, Primal Eric Rowan. Thankfully, Got the uh, the Hogan enhancements ready to go, so start another one right away. Hopefully the next one is Hogan. Time, time's running out here. We need a Hogan, a pro Hogan. Well, we don't need them, but it'd be cool. So no Hogan on that one, but that's fine because I had another one coming. Fusion time, let's go, man. Once again, Hogan, Hogan, let's get Hogan. We got another Primal, Rusev. I keep on getting the Primals now. It started off really good. Thankfully, we still got time. We got time for one last fusion. Five hours remaining. Let's go ahead and activate this, and that's going to be the last one. Hopefully, it's Hogan, but by the time I get it, the WrestleMania 36 tier is going to be here, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to pro him. And as far as my latest poll goes, got Titus O'Neil, not a pro, not going to bother proing him. Anyways, on to the WrestleMania 36 cards and that hexagon, that slot that they've got in the right corner, bottom right corner, where the pro star would usually be. And this is on all the cards, all the WrestleMania 36 cards, and these aren't pro cards. Now, Supercard themselves haven't said anything about this, and before the maintenance gets done and we all get our hands on the cards, I've got a couple theories on what this could be, a couple possibilities, with one possibility that I'm leaning towards more than the others. Number one, the return of enhancements on the new cards and in all modes aside from just King of the Ring. At the moment, you can only use enhancements on the older cards or in King of the Ring. If you're trying to boost Nightmare and above cards outside King of the Ring with enhancements, you can't put them on them. So this slide could be the return and introduction of all-around enhancements, where it's just one enhancement, and once you put that in on one of the new cards, it shows it right in on Exicon and increases all stats at the same time. Chances of that being the case, though, eh, 4 out of 10. Option number two, the pro look get changed, gets a makeover. Nope, never mind, because just a few minutes ago, Supercard tweeted out this video of a WrestleMania 36 Pro Brock Lesnar card, and it's still the same pro look with the gold star, with the star in the bottom right corner. Uh, what is different from the singles is that it doesn't have that exit gone anymore. So this brings up even more questions. Why do the singles have the exit gone, but not the pros? Just to let you know, possibility number three, and I thought I had this all figured out. I was going to be like, guys, I think they're eliminating pros. And that pros from WrestleMania 36 tier and on would be replaced with fortification. Because for a while, people have been talking about how the stats are getting way too high. Well, pros definitely don't help with that. And while fortification adds to the stats and they boost them up, they don't boost them up as much as pros so it could have been a solution a way to slow down the stats from getting up way too high but actually looking at this pro brock lesnar i guess another option is to just nerf the stats or nerf the pro boost which seems to be the case here unless of course this is a work laser card pro without all the matches played and now they've also tweeted out a pro rhea ripley obviously once again without the hexagon so yo in the comment section man what do you guys think this hexagon slot this secret slot is for at this point with it only being on singles and not pros i don't think it's enhancements anymore possibly a fortification slot for singles maybe giving you the option hey do you want to fortify the card you don't need to level up and play the matches for the other card but the sap boost won't be as big or you can pro the card it's gonna take you more time but stat boost is gonna be way bigger might be but moving on to anybody not in the wrestlemania 36 tier and you're looking at all these new cards and you want a wrestlemania 36 card well you can get one as well for free as long as you're tying all the way to you know what 
Space Royal Rumble, you can go ahead and participate in the Supercar Royale show, and if you win, you get a spot on the WrestleMania 36 team for a team ring domination to get yourself a WrestleMania 36 card. And if you don't know what the Supercar Royale is, it's basically a show where two lower tier players that we pick out from the applications and the Team Diggle Discord fight it out on YouTube for the people to watch and vote on, and whoever entertains the viewers the most, they're going to vote for, whoever gets the most votes, gets a spot on the team for a team ring domination for initially a Royal Rumble card, but now that the WrestleMania 36 tier is out, it's going to be for a WrestleMania 36 card. So it's even better now, and all you got to do to apply is to join the Team Diggle Discord, link is in the description box, and then go to the Supercar Royale application section, post up a screenshot of your player profile, along with your YouTube and Twitter usernames, and that's it. And if you want to see exactly what the Royale looks like, check out the first two episodes the links will also be in the description box and also the discord is the place to be nobody expected team ring domination so we didn't get the time to record a supercar royale show so i just told everybody on discord hey first lower tier player that gets back to me you'll make it in the team for team ring domination raging panda replied he's a SummerSlam 19 player so we brought him in for team ring domination dude carried the whole thing because everybody else was busy with the regular ring domination he got over 50 shards got himself a vanguard as well as the royal rumble diesel of course he also got lucky from one of the ticket packs and got rikishi so now he's like primal primal plus so these things can definitely boost you up big time all right so i hear the game is back up and i heard about what the event is definitely unexpected so let's just get into this and i heard that the event is a giant unleash but not what we expected for March 26 instead of a woman's giant unleash we got a men's giant unleash for edge so right off the bat Thank you for that. I was I was feeling like the Edge card, when it was going to come, it was going to be a last man standing. So I'm really thankful we're getting a Giants Unleashed instead. Giants Unleashed has to be my favorite event in the game. So the fact that I can get an Edge card, that we can all get an Edge card uh, from Giants Unleashed, that's great. So, uh, let me, what's even the deck at uh, as far as Giants Unleashed goes? I don't even know. Oh, Royal Rumble Plus Plus? Oh, hold on a second. Um, there's this blue bar, so I'm thinking if I back out the game or if I play a game, it'll adjust, and I might actually be in the WrestleMania 36 tier. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight into a match here, so we can get the freebie, and also see where that Giants Unleashed deck is actually at, because I don't think I'm at Royal Rumble Plus Plus. And uh, hopefully we get the freebie right off the bat, and we don't have to play a bunch of WAM matches. Okay, there we go. Now we actually see the tier. Yeah, so we had to play a match, and I'm at WrestleMania 36 plus. And guess what? That's without Daniel Bryan too. So, yeah, not gonna get the freebie right now because we just had two draft pulls off of that. Maybe the freebie right now after this match because we're getting five pulls off of this. So uh, let's see here. Freebie, freebie. Oh, oh. Usually when it takes time like this, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a freebie, or it's going to be a pull. No, not a pull, and not a pull yet. So I guess we're going to continue on here until we get that freebie. All right, might get the freebie now. This one, maybe? Nope. Yo, that Alistair Black card looks cool. That might be the best looking Alistair Black card in the game. I actually want that card now. Is it finally time for the freebie? Let's go, guys. We, we got three more here. Okay. Three, two, and come on. Give it to me. Okay. We got to keep it going. Okay, this was my last bout. If I don't get it now, I'm gonna go into wild mode to get it. So, two more. No, and... Oh, okay, oh, what's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a good one? Oh, Kevin Owens, all right. Hey, Kevin Owens, happy with that. I'm sure he's not at the very top of the list, but I know he's also not at the very bottom of the list. He's likely towards the middle, maybe higher middle, hopefully. Uh, either way, I could see him being a pro. I could see them putting a Kevin Owens 
in an event, so I'm cool with that. I think the chances of a pro are pretty decent with this. Let's not forget those sweet, sweet credits. 500 credits, I was hoping for a thousand, but hey, 5,000, I mean 500, not gonna complain. 5,000, definitely wouldn't complain, that'd be amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and finish it off with a ladder reward. So, Rumble tier, we did a ladder reward, a female ladder reward, this time it's a male one. What if it's Kevin Owens? That'd be amazing, a pro right off the bat. Let's see what the ladder reward is gonna be. Post your guesses, five, four, three, two, one. Bam, and it's no way. <laughs> Yo, the Miz out of all the cards. He he he's the card in Giants Unleash. So I just got a pro. I just kicked off the WrestleMania 36 tier with a pro. He is, in case you don't know, he's the card in Giants Unleashed right under edge. This is an amazing start to the tier already. And yo, stay tuned for the next episode as D Pro. Next episode, huge pack opening. See ya.